All right. Good evening, everybody. My name is Dr. John Jelnick. Thank you for taking the time out of your evening to train with us tonight. Um, and I am fortunate enough to train tonight with my sister, Susie, and she will be talking after myself. So a little bit about me. I'm a chiropractor. I've been practicing for 16 years. Uh, a couple of those years were in England, and then most of my time now has been in North Dakota. So I'm a state north of Susie, uh, right next to Canada, about a half hour from the border. We are gearing up for winter coming soon. So um, I started with LifeVantage in 2012. I signed up as a distributor. A patient of mine introduced me to the company. I started the business four years later. If you want to know that story, ask me later. Um, but I started the business in 2016. I retail that product in my office. I also am doing the business as well on the side in the nooks and crannies of my day. Um, and so I'm super excited tonight. I'm gonna to share my screen as I'm talking, um, but I get to talk to you about one of my favorite products. Um, one of my favorite products that I think for all of us is really easy. I can't do two things at once, which is really easy to um, recommend to people. Um, I have this product two or three times a day. I do not go a day without. I can't remember the year that Axio came out, but um, I cannot live without it. I don't know about you guys, but if you have not tried this drink, Make sure you pick it up, order it today. You're gonna to want this in your hands. And I thought it's a great topic to talk about now because we have, hopefully for most of us, school starting for those either in college or grade school or high school or whatever. And so this is a great product to get into your hands and for those people. So I always bring this up to people and I think if you're anything like me, when you see somebody, you say, how are you doing? And their response, unless they are feeling fantastic. And in my office, a lot of people come there for different reasons, but a lot of people say, I'm exhausted, I'm, I'm tired, you know, uh, especially if they've had long days at work or whatever else, uh, pain can make them tired. And so this is always a good segue for me to, you know, eventually talk to them about Axio at some point and try to get this in their glass and have them try it out. Uh, the ease of the samples is really nice as well, but Axio has become my secret weapon. So Susie, can you see that? Yes, we're good. Yep. Okay. So guys, Axio is my secret weapon. I use this all the time. My kids use this, my family use this every single day. So Axio has been classified into a group of neurotropics. Has everybody heard of that? If you haven't heard of it, you're gonna hear about it um, very, very soon. Uh, it's an up and coming market and what neurotropics is, it, it, they're basically drugs, supplements, or other substances that may improve cognitive function, particularly executive functions, memory, creativity, or motivation. Um, I don't know about you, but I could sure use some of those um, some days, right? And so this market, just in this nootropics market, okay, this is a growing. In 2015, they had over $1 billion in sales. Now, we classify Axio as our energy drink line, our smart energy um, helps with brain fog, right? And if you don't know what brain fog is, um, stay up with kids at night and get up early in the morning and be with kids again, and, and you'll understand what brain fog is by about mid-afternoon. But the energy market, and I was looking at some statistics today, the energy market uh, in, 2000 to, in 2021 is predicted to be over $61 billion. That's insane. Uh, 33 to 34% of Americans aged 18 to 39 drink energy drinks every single day. But, and this doesn't even include the coffee habits that we all have, right? And think about that. I only said 18 to 39. So how many other people in those other age groups are drinking energy drinks? So we have something to offer these people in the uh, healthy version or the healthy alternative with our Axial. So one thing with energy drinks, and I thought this was a good visual just to let you know what kind of sugar is in some, and, and the main one in the States is Red Bull, uh, but even look at uh, Coca-Cola with the amount of sugar in it. And this is the downfall with energy drinks. There's increased amounts of sugar and caffeine. And if you look at some of the labels in the energy drinks specifically, there's gonna be different wording for what is caffeine that you don't even know is listed in that group. And so basically, as you're drinking those, it's gonna create an addiction, right, over time, and then you keep wanting more and more of this. Um, energy drinks have artificial flavors, colors, there's more calories, you get um, uh, jitters, uh, shakes, right, and then what happens is a big crash. So we have these five hour powers, right, if you go to the gas station and on the counter, right before you're checking out, they have five hour powers. So you go for five hours, then you crash, 
And then what? You want another five hour power, right? Because it only lasts for so long. So there's that addiction that it's created. One of the biggest things that uh, energy drinks are associated with is uh, cardiac arrest. A lot of young people, I think it was 2007, the, the rates with young people were doubled going to the emergency room for cardiac uh, um, problems when they were drinking energy drinks. I see that a lot around here too. I coach hockey. Uh, this was not allowed in my locker room. And a lot of people, a lot of the kids, and I was coaching 15 year olds, they wanted the monsters, the Red Bull, anything before they play. And you can tell when it wears off when they're skating on the ice afterwards. And so what we have is the Axio. Now this is an older slide. We do not have the grapefruit anymore. We, we had the three caffeinated ones and then we have the decaf red raspberry. And Axio has a lot of benefits. So when we look at some of the benefits of Axio, um, we have, or well, let's look at this. Let's look at what it's made up of. It's, I'm gonna get to the benefits, but the opposite basically of the energy drinks, right? There's natural sweeteners. It's sweetened with stevia. We have no added sugars natural flavors and colors, it's non-GMO, there's less calories, it's gluten-free, great for vegans, and it's banned substance control group certified. So athletes can take this test out of it uh, when they get tested in the professional sport realm. So Axio uh, can improve our mood, helps with brain fog, mental fatigue, and really LifeVantage came up with a recipe for success. And their recipe for success is these ingredients right here. So when you read through these, and I'm not gonna read through all of them, but you know, who wouldn't want some of this stuff in just these individual ingredients, right? Help support optimal mental performance. Yes, please. Look at L-theanine. L-theanine is the big one. This is sustained energy without overstimulation. So one person said they were taking this, but they didn't feel all the hype and excitement when they were working out. Well, this brings on the mental energy, which in turn turns out to be the physical energy, but you're not getting the jitters like you would with the, um, the energy drinks or the, the more caffeinated products out there. So a, a lot more cleaner. Um, but this helps improve learning, performance, focus, and mental acuity. So L-theanine is a big ingredient that's huge in our Axio. Um, green tea extract. And then the biggest difference with our Axios, because we have a decaf and a caffeinated one, is DMAE and caffeine. So in our caffeinated Axios, we have 100 milligrams of synthetic caffeine. In the decaf, we just have more green tea. And in the caffeinated uh, axios, we have DMAE, dimethylaminoethanol. So I'll say that five times. And this is stuff you don't really have to say to your customers, or, but you should understand the difference in why there's caffeinated and decaf and what the difference is. The DMAE is huge. So when you read about this, uh, this improves brain function. And they use this in uh, patients or people with Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and ADHD. Okay, so I'm, I'm staying compliant. Um, I'm not going to say that we treat, cure, prevent, or mitigate disease, but that's what they're using DMAE in uh, um, other settings. And so this actually is a type of uh, antioxidant too. It actually works like an antioxidant. All right, so anybody recognize this? This is a fuse box, right? This is what I say to my patients. They say, well, what's the difference with this? What is it going to do for me? I'm gonna try and make this as uh, easy as I can. So I always think of the brain as the, as the master control switch, right? When you look at a fuse box, what does the fuse box do? It controls everything in the house. And right up at the top, you have one main switch that turns them all on and then individually they turn on. So when you're drinking Axio, it's gonna turn on the brain, it's gonna give you energy. When that energy is in the brain and when your brain is working optimally, those individual switches are turned on and every single cord that goes to every component of your body is turned on and it's gonna work at an optimal level. Um, and that's where your energy source come from. It comes from the brain, right? And so this is what we need to do to control it. We need to turn on the master switch and this is exactly what Axio is doing. So like I said before, a lot of people that need this are people that have brain fog, help in concentration, focus, uh, general fatigue, memory retention, um, kids going back to school are going to benefit this tremendously. I just had a mom purchase five bags last week just to send her a kid for college. Um, you know, those that are working long hours, maybe we're doing more computer stuff now in, in the time we have with COVID. Uh, and this is a great one for, for uh, controlling our thoughts. I was reading a book the other day. And uh, I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm the type that all of a sudden I get squirrels in my head, right? And I have to stop and I got to reread the page and I got to reread the page. 
So I was doing this the other night. Actually, I did 20 hours of continuing education this week. This is what it was. And I was sitting there staring at the computer and I thought, okay, I got to take a break. I went and had an axiom and I came back. The focus, you can just tell the difference within minutes. It's, it's phenomenal. Um, and so this is really my get stuff done drink. Uh, again, I just had one a, a little bit ago. Um, I had a caffeinated one uh, earlier about noon today. So how I use it is this. I use it before my workouts. Um, I go to the gym sometimes in the early morning and then sometimes at noon. So I always make sure I have it within an hour before I go to the gym. I tend to take mine following my circadian rhythm. So basically when you get up, you have a little bit more energy, you eat breakfast, you do your thing about mid at morning, you kind of get through a little lull. Um, that's when I have my first axial. Then I eat lunch sometimes, if unless I go to the gym. But if you eat lunch, what happens about mid-afternoon? In England, they call that tea time, right? We need to have a tea to wake yourself up. Well, that's when we go through our other lull. So I will have another axio. So I try to beat that curve and I try to beat that lull when, I, when I'm drinking my axio through the day. Uh, my kids take this before their sporting events. Uh, they also uh, use this in school. Um, we actually use hot Axio. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but we take a half a pack of Axio and we put this in uh, a tea, a hot water, and we have that works well with sinus colds um, and, and just maybe even comfort and soothing and to help with any anxiety, especially at night before you go to bed. So I really use that um, quite a bit is the hot Axio. Winter time around North Dakota, love the hot Axio. Uh, a couple tips, if you're sensitive to caffeine, mix half a bag of the calf and the decaf, mix them together. Um, experiment with your Axial. I have the green dragon once in a while, which is the green grape and the dragon fruit. Um, sometimes I will mix the sour cherry and the red raspberry. So I kind of mix and match sometimes if I need a, need a little bigger bang throughout the day. Um, make sure you're diluting it quite a bit. Sometimes you can get a nice and flush. I've had one. I put a full pack in a hot tea once. Wrong thing to do. Um, I need to dilute it with a little bit more water. So if you do have people that are saying, you know, maybe that does happen, it, it can happen. So just be aware of that as well. Um, hand out samples of this. It's really easy to hand out samples of Axio. People are going to feel it within having one or two of them. It's easy to send to new customers as a thank you, uh, use for incentives. You know, and I make sure if I go anywhere, I'm opening my pack of Axio in front of people. Okay, and so why I do that is because I create curiosity and what are they gonna do? Well, what are you drinking? What are you having? And there you go, there's your conversation, right? And you can turn and, and tell them a little bit about, more about Axio. Um, the other thing that you can do is uh, for social media, you know, everybody's building the business on social media. One thing, thanks to Brian Highfield, is we can use Facebook videos and create curiosity with Axio. So if you haven't seen this, uh, I'm going to play it. It doesn't take very long. Isn't that great? That is a great video. You add it on social media and make some comments on that and people will start asking you what you, you know, what do you have? Well, tell me more about it. So guys, stop wondering if Axio works. It does. You just need to try it. We have five months of the year left. Can you believe it? 2020 is going to be going out the door. We have five months left. Um, build this business in the nooks and crannies of your day on an everyday basis. Susie's going to tell you more about that. I'll tell you one thing. I have two offices. I have two other chiropractors that work for me. I will see patients and sometimes I'll go in, check my phone and message somebody, come back, go see a patient. I do that all throughout the day because I don't have time to build during the day. At night, I spend uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes and I do what I can in that time. As long as I'm doing something every single day to build my business, um, I'm you know, you, you have to, otherwise, I'm going to try to stop screen share, Susie. Um, otherwise, you know, your business is going to start to slump. And so, you know, like I said, we have five, five months left. Susie, tell us what we can all do throughout our day to build our business. 
All right. Well, thank you, John. Thank you so much. I love that video. I, I told you guys you were going to start dancing when you heard that. If you haven't seen that before, um, talk to your sponsor, talk to your um, Pro 5 and Up leader, and hopefully they can get that to you if you would like that video or show you how to, to get that. I'm going to share my screen next and go into um, how, to, how I work my life vantage business into the nooks and crannies of my day. And as a, as a busy mom of four kids, um, this is a big, big deal. Um, just because, um, and I know we're all busy and some people, even if you're, even if you don't wanna be a work at home mom right now, some, some of you still are. But I just wanna share a little practical tips and tricks that I have with you. Um, hopefully you gain a little bit of value tonight with some of these. Um, but this is us. This is my family. I am a, a former certified athletic trainer, but now work at home mom. I'm blessed to be able to have been at home since my third child was born. And my husband, Al, works uh, for a communications company, but he's working at home currently right now, too. We have four kids, ages 11, 9, 3, and 1, and we are the definition of no time. Um, as soon as our kids got home, um, from, you know, to do distance learning at home in March, then we had some water damage in our basement. And so we were trying to mitigate that and get that taken care of. And we were, you know, I was trying to work at home while that was going on. I was trying to help our kids do school <laughs> um, and kind of work in my life managed business in those nooks and crannies, as well as, as take care of that damage and take care of everything else in our house that needed to be done. And I know this is, you know, a lot of other people are dealing with this right now. So again, um, a few quotes that I have throughout my slideshow, but one of them that is big for me is your doubts create mountains, your actions move them. So whether it's that mindset that you have just to keep going, um, you know, your actions are going to be the biggest thing that you want to control. So again, number one action is inviting, right? If, the, if this is the one thing that we can do every day, um, if we have, you know, literally next to zero time to, um, to um, delve into our business every day. If there's one thing that we can do, it's inviting. So decide how many invites you're going to make every day, whether it's one a day, two, five a day, et cetera, or decide how many minutes you have a day to invite. You know, how many invites can you make in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or one hour a day? And that brings me to power hours. Our team has started doing daily power hours during the week, and for me, it is, all out extreme action. I love these power hours. They're guided by one of our um, one of our leaders in on our team. And so, for the first fifteen minutes, we will reach out and text people um, and and invite them to watch our opportunity. Or we'll do another fifteen minutes of follow up, or just fifteen minutes of reaching out to maybe those people on your chicken list that you've been wanting to talk to about our opportunity and wanting to expose them to what we have our hands on. But just getting those invites done in that power hour has been huge and massive for me. Um, I love that. And the biggest another thing is just to find an accountability partner or mentor to help you get those things done. So find someone that can you can work back and forth with to, to do those invites. I wanted to share a couple of easy invites that I use. Um, again, these are really, really simple. Take a screenshot of these invites if you'd like. First one is I found something that I'm super excited about and I'd love your opinion. If I showed you a short video clip that aired on ABC Primetime, would you look at it today? You can call someone and ask them that. You can do this through messenger or text message. Um, another one is I can't believe I haven't told you this. I've been taking this for X amount of years, months, weeks. I need to share an ABC News report with you. It's so important. Again, whether their answer is yes or no, follow up with them after that but, and set those appointments. Um, so a daily method of operation. We've all heard of our DMO, right? Whether you do it on social media um, and, and work with your sponsor on finding the best one for you, or if it's, if it's two, one invite a day, two invites a day, five invites a day, whatever works best for you, just find a way to be consistent with that DMO. Um, you know, make sure it's at the same, maybe making sure that it's at the same times of day every day would be beneficial for you. Um, you know, maybe in the morning when you wake up and your coffee is brewing, that could be a time where you're gonna, you're gonna knock out one invite and share with someone what we have. For me personally, my, um, you know, how my day rolls, usually in the morning, I don't have a whole lot of time to do inviting. That's when I'm spending time with my kids, doing breakfast, playtime, um, meeting with friends for playdates. 
Um, but when nap time comes around, I will have I have my littlest one, he's almost two, but he still takes a long nap. So while that's going on, I will have my older kids play with my, my toddler um, or have them do some activities. And I'm gonna share some activities with you in a little bit. And then I will be able to spend some time, whether it's doing a power hour or um, knocking out you know, 15 minutes of my day to, to invite people, that's when I'll do, that's when I'll use that time to do those, those action steps. And then after the kids are in bed, I definitely spend you know, some time um, doing those action steps as well. Usually for me, 10 o'clock um, is when I kind of shut down spend some time with my husband and um, do other things during, you know, that I didn't have done as far as household things that I didn't have a chance to get done during the day. I will, I will do that afterwards. Personal development. I wanted to make sure to talk about this because it's so important for me. It's been invaluable um, as I've been building this business. Make sure this is a part of your DMO. 15 minutes a day is really all that's needed. And so that is pretty, you know, pretty easy for most people, even if you're extremely busy. But again, I've had so much growth in myself because of this. And it, I feel like it's just the really beautiful part of our business. And the books that I've, some of the books that I've read include The View from Venus by our own, very own Carrie Dickey, GoPro by Eric Worre, Your First Year in Network Marketing by Mark Yarnell and Renee Reed Yarnell, and Money Mindset by Brian Carruthers. And that's one I've read more recently. Um, and these definitely don't include all of the ones that I've read, but these are some of my favorites. So definitely screenshot this if you'd like um, to remember some of those books to check out later. Tony Robbins said, no matter how many mistakes you make or how slow you progress, you're still way ahead of everyone who isn't trying. So give yourself grace. And this is something that I've had to do um, a whole lot is if I don't get anything done during the day, um, as far as my like managed business, the next day I'll make up for it and spend a little bit more time doing those things that I missed um, the day before. But again, giving myself grace has been so important as a mom of four, making sure that I still, you know, I'm keeping up with what I want to do with this business. I wanted to make sure to share some activities for kids while you work. Some are for older kids, some are for younger kids. Um, but creating a living room fort, you know, use shipping boxes, use your life managed shipping boxes that you get your products in, give them to your kids and have them go to town with markers and crayons while you're doing, you know, some action steps for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, you can create a play, um, have them have your kids create a play to perform after dinner for you. Have them do a Lego challenge using all of the Legos <laughs> in their in their room or in their basket to create a house, so like a, or a Lego land. That should take a while. For my kids, they love 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 Legos. My older kids do. Even my three year old is is really starting to delve into them, but they love Legos, so that takes a long time, and that's that's easy time to to get some stuff done. Coloring time or an easy craft, um, bathtub time in the afternoon. Um, if you need some time in the afternoon, don't do bath time in the, in, at night before bed, um, but change it up a little bit and that should give you some extra time there. Um, having a sensory bin for your kids to work on different with, with beans, with uh, coffee beans or with, um, with, uh, with lima beans and with um, sand or um, rice, making sure that they have little like cars to drive in there or cups and spoons and just let them go to town with that while you're working or else have your kids do a yoga video on their own while you know give, even giving you 15 to 20 minutes of uninterrupted time can allow you to send out as many invites as possible during that time and then reward that behavior so after you your kids get done doing those um, independent activities reward them and take them out for a hike or take them on a walk do something fun together with them to let you know to let them know that that was really great that they were able to stay busy while you were doing your job Tony Robbins also said, it's not about your resources, it's about your resourcefulness, you guys. So as an entrepreneur with Life Vantage, we, we are, are resourceful. Entrepreneurs are resourceful, right? We, we know that there's all these tools out there to help us get our jobs done. But the, the winners, the, most, the people who are most successful in this business are, are, use their resourcefulness and they use those tools well, the tools that they were given to, to do their job. Organization is kind of the last part that I'm gonna talk about. And I recently started using Google Calendar, thanks to Jillian Fisher. So she shared some of her organization tips in one of our last Sunday night trainings. But all of my family activities are in there, like vantage appointments, like vantage follow-ups, play dates. Um, but it's important to be specific, right? Set appointments with your prospects and add notifications to remind you of those appointments. And then set reminders for those follow-ups as well. 
Um, but plan each, plan, e plan your day each night so that you'll stay on task in the morning. Um, and then if you can't catch the recordings or if you can't catch the live trainings or webinars that are going on during the day each day, each day of the week, catch the recordings. Make sure that you, you know, watch those. And sometimes I'll watch them when I'm doing dishes um, you know, folding laundry, um, if I can't watch them live. And so that's important, making sure you work those in. And communication. So communication is super important with your family. Make sure your family knows your goals. Uh, for my, my family, I have my vision board right next to my bed. So they see, they see that picture of mom standing next to a life in his Jeep. And they see that that's my, that's my goal. Someday that's what I want to make happen. And so they know how important it is to me. Um, and of course they know that they're the reason why I'm doing this too. We just got back from a family vacation in the Black Hills of South Dakota and we had so much fun. And the reason we were able to go was because I was able to, you know, make some extra money as an incentive um, last month um, and was able to, with a flip the switch incentive and was able to help pay for that trip. And so that's so, you know, so amazing. We saw so many Jeeps out there too, you guys. So that was just another reason why this is so important. I was able to tell them, hey, you know, mom, if you know, I work harder, hard um, to um, earn my Jeep, we can, we can have our own Jeep out here someday. Um, but sometimes you guys knowing that the balance will be off kilter, your family needs to understand that. Um, and there's a reason for it, right? Working hard for that incentive that will be, will pay off in the long run. Um, and then making sure you ha save some time for your spouse is key. Put the phone down in the evening um, and then talk to your kids in the while well, in the car, not on the phone. This is something that I remember Carrie Dickey saying is that when her kids were younger, her boys were younger, she wishes she might've spent a little bit more time talking to them on the phone versus um, talking to prospects or uh, appointments on the phone. So a couple of little tidbits there. But lastly, you guys, as many as 95% of those people who remain in this industry for 10 years or longer reach the highest pay levels in their respective companies. So whatever you do, just don't quit. And that is from Mark Yarnell in your first year of network in network marketing, that book that I referred to in um, personal development. So with that, I will stop my share. And I think we are right at eight. We're almost at nine o'clock, 9 p.m. Central. So thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I am um, just delighted to see you all here um, and we'll call it a wrap. Bye everybody.